June WPI numbers are out. 7.25 is the June WPI number uh, versus 7.55% on a month-on-month -month basis. So this is slightly below expectation. The NDTV poll has suggested that the June WPI number could come in at about 7.6%, but the actual number has come in at 7.25. So this is definitely a positive sign. Uh, so on a month-on-month -on -month basis, inflation has eased off. Uh, we're waiting for more details uh, to understand where is this uh, recovery coming in from. If, in, if monsoon is deficit, then you would actually expect inflation to be on a higher trajectory. But the first set of numbers that we've got uh, from the WPI side suggest that inflation has eased off on a month-on-month -month basis. Uh, I believe Ira is joining us right now to take us through more details on the inflation. Ira, it's over to you. Uh, Ashu, thanks so much. This is definitely a number that was softer than anticipated. So on a month-on-month -month basis, you have seen an easing off to about 7.25. Uh, the anticipation in the market was about 7.6%, uh, which would have been the highest number more or less uh, for this year, at least that's the calendar year 2012. Let's start looking at the breakups and then we'll get a sense of what's really moved the number. Uh, primary article inflation is coming at 10.46. So that's slightly softer than what you've seen in the month of May, uh, which was 10.88%. Uh, manufactured product inflation and now we'll analyze this in greater detail in a minute, uh, has come in flat at 5% versus 5.02. So there isn't any uh, incremental pressure coming in on core inflation or on manufactured product inflation, at least from that headline number. Uh, food article inflation uh, is at 10.81 uh, versus 10.74. Uh, so flattish, but still remains very, very elevated. Uh, there's a bit of relief coming in on the fuel group this time around. 10.27% uh, in terms of fuel and power group inflation versus 11.53. So at the headline level, uh, that's where the pro relief has la largely come in uh, on account of. I want to flag off one revision because we've now had two months of upward revisions. Uh, the March numbers were revised up quite steeply and now the April numbers have been revised up from from 7.23 to about 7.50. So there is uh, seemingly a trend of upward revisions. Presumably that could continue uh, even in the months of May and June, but uh, April has already been revised up. Let's look at the month on month numbers. They always give you a sense of what's happening uh, in terms of actual movement in prices. The all commodities index has moved up a very marginal 0.2%. The primary articles index uh, has moved up just 0.1%. Uh, so those two are more or less flat. Uh, you've got food articles which have actually moved up, but then these are all summer months, pre-monsoon months. So, you know, that's expected. Uh, food article prices are up 1.4% uh, on a month-on-month -month basis. Uh, let's take a look at what's happened on manufactured. Manufactured on a month-on-month -month basis is actually up 0. 3%. Uh, percent, uh, and the fuel group index is down 0.4%. Uh, Here's another point of relief that's coming in. I think this is the same uh, trend that we saw last month as well. Uh, the minerals group has started to adjust downwards and you know that links into what happens uh, on the global side. Uh, so you've got the minerals group index coming down by 2.6 odd percent. Uh, and the non-food articles index is also down 2.6% on a month-on-month -month basis. Let me just uh, start getting analysis on these numbers. Uh, for starters, Sajid Chinoy of JP Morgan is joining us and we'll uh, continue continue uh, to get more views. Sajid, uh, good morning. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, what do you make of the headline numbers? Slightly morning. softer than what was anticipated? Clearly very encouraging era. Uh, so I think many of us had expected that because of food inflation going up and the currency depreciating, uh, that the headline number might mimic what happened to the PMI in June, which, which rose quite sharply uh, in terms of output prices. Uh, but so that's clearly good news. It, it, we'll have to wait and see what the components are, whether this moderation is coming from core, uh, whether it's coming from food, or it's coming primarily from the softening of global commodities, which will manifest itself then in non-food primary articles as well as mineral prices. Uh, let me read out some of those breakups, Sajid, and get your thoughts on it. So, you know, in terms of the year-on-year uh, -year sure. numbers, uh, I think you're, you're flat on the manufactured side at 5. There's a calculation coming out on the wires for non-food manufactured, so core. Uh, that comes in at 486 and on a month-on-month -month basis, there's just about a 0.3% increase uh, on the manufactured products index. So that particular segment doesn't seem like there's any specific reason to worry. Well, if core inflation is 4.9, um, then in fact the interpretation is quite different. Our own calculations were that if you had no movement month on month, seasonally adjusted, a core should have fallen all the way to 4.2. So 4.86 or a 4.9 number still to be confirmed for core actually suggests that non-food manufacturing prices went up 0.7% month on month, which is very big. Uh, so that would be a cause uh, of concern if in fact that's true. India's number one user.
just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.